What's going on guys? Before I even start this, I still have my GoFundMe. Uh, it's down in the link below. So if you want to help me get to Iceland, check out that link. All right, time for the video. What's going on guys? So we got a bit of bad news and a bit of good news. The good news, I got something in the mail, something I've been waiting on. A few weeks back, I went and applied for my passport because I want to take this trip to Iceland. Well, we got my passport back and I don't see my birth certificate. Because with your passport, you send in your birth certificate and I don't see it. Huh. But we'll have to figure that out later. But let's see what we got in here. If I need to cross out some misinformation. <laughs> I love the picture. That, that's my don't mess with me picture. Trying to get that glare off. But we got the passport. So we can start planning our trip to Iceland. But here's... I'm just looking through this. Maybe I should like do this so I can actually see it. There we go. Um, so anyway, <laughs> that picture is just cracking me up. I totally, totally look like a, a criminal, man. They might not let me in their country when they see that picture. But I uh, applied for the passport. We got that in the mail today. And I have been waiting for the passport to come so I can get my tickets to Iceland, right? So here's the deal. Sorry, I'm trying to read this at the same time. But that's my passport right there. Let's put that away. So I went on to Iceland Air, their site today, and there was a direct flight that I had kept looking at, which went directly from Cleveland to Iceland. It was about six, seven hours, six hours, 45 minutes or something. I went in today because I got my passport. I'm ready to book it. No longer exists. I'm like freaking out. I'm like, what's going on? I even called Iceland Air uh, to find, I'm like, yeah, there was a direct flight from Cleveland to Iceland. And now all I see is these flights with a layover. And she said, oh, those are booked. Wasn't booked a week ago, but you know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have to pay a little bit extra and leave a day earlier. So now I gotta find another room I got some rooms and I'm probably gonna put some pictures here on the places I got. But, okay, so let's go get the laptop out. Let's book our flight and I'll be right back. I'm gonna apologize in advance. This is gonna be a little choppy. I'm holding my phone and I'm trying to do my reservation on my computer. So as you can see, I put in here, leaving Cleveland July 3rd, returning July 9th. Now previously, previously, yeah. I'm, I'm tired. It's late. I need to be in bed. There was a flight directly from Cleveland to Reykjavik. Reykjavik? And now it's no longer in there. And evidently nothing is in there right now as we wait. So yeah, there was a flight on July 3rd for like this price here. Now look at the, how the price has changed. So you can see, I did end up booking the trip. It cost me like $80 more than what it was originally. I had to add an extra day. So I had to get an extra room. So yeah, this is adding up really, really kind of fast. Yeah, so that's what's going on. That's where I'm at right now. Like I said, I'm not trying to sound like a little whiny bitch. I hope I'm not coming across that way. I was just a little disappointed that my flight that I originally looked for was gone and I had to book something else and it cost me even more money. This trip is really starting to rack up on the money there. But it is something I want to do. It's a once in a lifetime experience to go someplace like Iceland. And I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos and everybody that donated through the GoFundMe, uh, which is still up. There's a link down below, down there somewhere. I will mention you in my videos once I get there and start filming. And I gotta make sure I'm not about to get hit by a car here. Yeah, so that's it. And until next time.